Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on accessing pieces of arrays. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to access and change individual elements of arrays, both one dimensional and multi dimensional. Access and change rows and columns of arrays. Access and change other chunks from an array using slicing and striding and read images into arrays and perform processing on them using simple array manipulations. Before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with arrays. So now open the terminal and type ipython space hyphen pylab. Let us begin with the help of an example. Let us have two arrays A and C as simple arrays that we will look used to work through this tutorial. Let us begin with the most elementary thing, accessing individual elements. Also let us first do uh, with the one dimensional array A and then do the same thing with the two dimensional array. To, ac to access the so type A is equal to array within brackets and square brackets. 12, comma 23, comma 34, comma 45, comma 56. And C is equal to array within brackets in square brackets 11, comma 12, comma 13, comma 14. Comma 15, then closing brackets, and comma. Next in square brackets, type 21 to 25 in comma, then comma, next one in square brackets, 31 to 35, then comma in square brackets, next one is 41 to 45, then comma, then in square brackets, the final one is 51 to 55, and then close the bracket and hit enter. To access the element 34 in array A, we say A of 2. Note that we are using square brackets. So type A within square brackets 2 and hit enter. Like list, index, indexing starts from 0 in array. So 34, the third element has the index 2. Now let us access the element 34 from C. To do this, we say C of 2 comma 3. So type C in square brackets 2 comma 3. And hit enter. 34 is in the third row and the fourth column. And since indexing begins from 0, the row index is 2 and the column index is 3. Now that we have accessed one element of the array, let us change it. We shall change 34 to minus 34 in both A and C. To do this, we simply assign the new value after accessing the element. So type A in square brackets 2 is equal to minus 34. And for C, type C in square brackets 2 comma 3 is equal to minus 34. Let us check our preparation, operation. So type A in square brackets 2 and hit enter, then C in square brackets 2 comma 3. Okay. Now that we have accessed and changed a single element, let us access and change more than one element at a time. First rows and then columns. Let us access one row of C, say the third one. We do it by saying C, so type C in square brackets 2 and hit enter. How do we access the last row of C? We could say, so type C in square brackets 4 and hit enter. Or as 
with list we could use negative indexing and say c is in bracket minus 1 now we could change the last row into all zeros using either uh, you can type c in square bracket minus 1 is equal to within square bracket five zeros and hit enter or we can use uh, the command in terminal c in square bracket minus 1 is equal to 0 now how do we access one column of c as with accessing individual elements the column is the second parameter to be specified after comma the first parameter is replaced with a semicolon a colon this specifies that we want all the elements of that dimension instead of just one particular element we access the third column by saying the so type c in square bracket colon comma 2 and hit enter now pause the video here and try out the following exercise change the last column of C to 0 so now switch to terminal for solution to change the entire last column of C to 0 we simply say C in square brackets colon comma minus 1 colon comma minus 1 is equal to 0 and hit enter since A is one dimensional, rows and columns of A don't make much sense. It has just one row and A of colon gives the whole of A. So type A within square brackets colon and hit enter. So now pause the video here and try out the following exercise. And resume the video. Change A to 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 so for that now switch to terminal for solution to change A we say A in square bracket colon is equal to which is square bracket 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and hit enter now that we know how to access rows and columns of an array we shall learn how to access other pieces of an array for this purpose we will be using image array to read an image into an array we use imread command we shall use the image squares.png present in slash home slash fossil directory we first navigate to that path in the OS and see what the image contains So let us now read the data in squares.png into the array i. For that type i is equal to i am read in closing bracket in a single quote slash home slash fossi slash squares.png. We can see that the contents of the image using the command I am show we say I am show within bracket i to see what has been read into i so type I am show within bracket i and hit enter we do not see white and black because Pylab has mapped white and black to different colors this can be changed by using a different color map to see that i is really just an array we say i at the prompt so type i we see that an array is displayed to check the dimensions of any array we use dot shape function so type i dot shape 
as we can see we got the dimensions of the image the image squares.png has the dimension of 300 by 300 our goal for this part of the tutorial would be to get the top left quadrant of the image to do this we need to access a few of rows and a few of the columns of the array to access the third column of C we set C in square brackets colon dot 2 and essentially we are accessing all the rows in the column of 3 of C now let us modify this to access only the first three rows of column 3 of C we say C of with the square bracket 0 is 3 comma 2 gives the elements of rows index from 0 to 3 3 is not included and column indexed 2 note that the index before the column is included and the index after it is not included in the slide that we have obtained this is very similar to the range function where range returns a list in which the upper limit or stop value is not included so type c within square bracket 0 colon 3 comma 2 and hit enter now if we wish to access the elements of the row with index 2 and in columns index 0 to 2 included we say so type c within bracket square bracket 2 comma 0 colon 3 and hit enter so now pause the video here and try out the exercise and resume the video first obtain the element of 22 23 from C then obtain the element 11 21 31 41 from C and then the third one and final one obtain the element 21 31 41 0 so now switch to terminal so tab C with the square brackets 1 comma 1 colon 3 and hit enter so C 1 comma 1 is to 3 gives the element 22 23 C within bracket, square bracket 0 colon 4 comma 0 gives the element 11 21 31 41 comma 0 C uh, 1 colon 5 comma 0 gives the element 21 31 41 0 note that when specifying ranges if you are starting from the beginning or going up to the end the corresponding elements may be dropped so in the previous example to obtain 11 21 31 41 we could have simply said so type C within square brackets 1 is to 5 comma 0 and hit enter we get the elements 21 31 41 0 if we skip both the indexes we get the slice from end to end as we already know so type C within square bracket colon 4 comma 0 and hit enter and next C 1 colon comma 0 and hit enter now pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video obtain the element 23 24 comma 33 minus 34 from C so now switch to terminal for solution type the command C within square bracket 1 colon 3 comma 2 colon 4 will give us the required element now we wish to obtain the top left quarter of the image how do we how do we go about doing it since we know the shape of the image is 300 we know that 
we need to get the first 150 rows and the first 150 columns. So, I colon 150 comma colon 150 gives us the top left corner of the image. So, type I within square bracket colon 150 comma 150 colon 150 and hit enter. We use the im show command to see the slice we obtain from in the form of an image and confirm. So type im show is in bracket i and in square bracket colon 150 comma colon 150 and hit enter. Obtain the square in the center of the image is the exercise that we are about to do. So please pause the video here. Now switch to terminal for solution. Type the command. Hence we get the center of the image. Our next goal is to compress the image using a very simple technique. So type I am show within bracket I and in square bracket 75 colon 225 comma 75 colon 225 and hit enter. So as we have set the goal, the idea is to drop alternate rows and columns of the image and save it. This way we will be reducing the data to one fourth of the original data but losing only a little of visual information. We shall first learn the idea of striding using a smaller array C. Suppose we wish to access only the odd rows and columns, first, that is first, third and fifth. We do this by typing C within square brackets 0 colon 5 colon 2 comma 0 colon 5 colon 2 if we wish to be explicit then we say C colon colon 2 in square brackets and colon colon 2 This is very similar to the step specified in the range function. It specifies the jump or step in which to move while accessing the element. If no step is specified, a default value of 1 is assumed. So type C in square bracket 1 colon colon 2 then comma colon colon 2. We get the element 21230, 414330. So pause the video here and try out the following exercise and the video. Obtain the following 120,420, then in brackets uh, 121314 and 000. The solution is on your screen. Now that we know the how to stride over an array, we can drop alternate rows and columns out of the image in I. To see this image, we say I mm, square brackets colon colon 2, comma colon colon 2. This does not have much data to notice any real difference, but notice that the scale has reduced to show that we have dropped alternate rows and columns. If you notice carefully, you will be able to observe some blurring near the edges. To notice this effect more clearly, increase the step to 4. So type I am show within brackets I in square brackets colon colon 2 comma colon colon 2 and hit enter. Then type I am show. Then within brackets colon colon four 
and again colon colon 4 this can even be replaced by the previous command given this brings us to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to manipulate single and multidimensional arrays access the change individual elements by using their index numbers access and change rows and columns of arrays by specifying the rows and column numbers slice and slide on arrays read images into arrays and manipulate them so here are some self assessment questions for you to solve first one is given the array a is equal to array 12, 15, 18, 21 how do we access the element 18 the second one given the array b is equal to array 10 to 13 20 to 23 30 to 33 40 to 43 Obtain the element 21, 22, comma 31, 32. The third one, given the array B is equal to array 10 to 13, comma 21 to 23, change the array to B is equal to array 10, 11, 10, 11, comma 20, 21, 20, 21. And let's look at the answers. The first one. The element 18 in array A has index numbers 2, hence we access it as A of 2. The answer is A with a square bracket 2. Second one, to obtain the center 4 numbers in the array B, we say B of 1 column 3, 1 column 3. And the third and final one, we can change the elements of array C by using the slicing and sliding by typing b with a square bracket colon 2 2 colon is equal to b colon 2 colon 2 so we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful thank you